What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop. As you can tell by this video's title, I am going to be showing you guys how you can make right at $1,000 in 48 hours working lasers. So for a few years now, the town where I live has had a Comic Con. My wife and I do craft shows and I thought that'd be really cool if I could set up a booth at the Comic Con, laser engrave a bunch of stuff, and make a bunch of money. I looked up the price for a booth and how much time you had to dedicate to it and I said, Nah, bro, that ain't for me. But that got the ball rolling where I started thinking, well, where can I offload a bunch of really cool laser engraved superhero, anime, stuff like that? Where could I put that stuff? Maybe somebody else wants it and they want to sell it. Right away, the first thing I did was contact my local comic book store. I reached out to him and I said, hey, is this something that you'd like? I'm making these. I started out really simple. I laser engraved a bunch of superhero magnets, coasters and keychains, stuff like that. Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, Aquaman, all the cool ones. And I said, hey, is this something that I could offload to you? Maybe you would like to buy them wholesale. He picked and chose which ones he wants and we made a deal. I kind of ripped myself off on the first deal. I sold them all to him for $2 a piece. I told him he could probably get five to seven back. I was just trying to get my foot in the door and it worked because he took them. I made $33 on that initial drop off. That's not a lot of money, but it's $33 I didn't have. After that, I had some magnets left over and I said to myself, what am I gonna do with these bad boys? So I went to a gaming store. They sell Wii games. They sell all kinds of Xbox, old vintage stuff. It's a vintage gaming store. I had some stuff left over that might fit what they do, Mario and stuff like that. I took a step out of my comfort zone, walked in without ever reaching out to them or meeting them face to face and I said, hey, do you guys want this stuff? And they bought $20 worth of magnets. Easy. $53 on the spot, done and done. That night, because earlier in the day they had seen my magnets in the comic book store, somebody reached out to me on Facebook and asked if I could make them necklace pendants. Never done this before in my life, but I said, yes, of course I can. He asked for 11 necklace pendants. It was a small star with his logo on the inside so that he could run a string through them and make necklaces out of them. I told them they'd be $7 each, which would be $77. Because of how quickly I got them turned around, because of the quality of everything that I provided, he gave me a hundred bucks. So we are at a grand total of $153. So before I go any further, let me just explain to you the lasers that I'm using. That way you can know exactly what you'd need if you want to start making all of this cash money. These are both X-Tool D1 Pros. The only difference between the two is that this is a 20 watt module laser and this is the 10 watt. They both engrave, they both cut, they both score. They're both perfect. This one cuts a little bit thicker materials. Everything comes out a little bit cleaner. I'm using the honeycomb bed from X-Tool. If you're cutting anything, this is super useful. It lets all the airflow get out, no burns. I also have an air assist attached to the actual module, which also helps with less burning. And as you can tell, I'm getting ready to engrave a Ninja Turtles pizza serving cutting board and it's gonna be freaking awesome. While I was in the comic book store and the gaming store, I really tried to push buying more from me and because I was pretty forward with what I could do for them, the comic book store went ahead and ordered $70 more worth of stuff, which I immediately went home and did that night. So that brings our grand total to 223 right then and there. That's just the first day. The second day is when everything started to heat up. I went to the Comic-Con's website, found every vendor on the list messaged them all individually and got about four or five replies, several people not wanting anything to do with me, and one guy who said, bring it on, baby. So that night alone, I made over a 100 magnets. Magnets are a hot seller, apparently. After talking with the guy from the Comic-Con, he ordered 134 individual magnets. That is 268 bucks worth of magnets. Just magnets, people. Low cost, high reward, magnets. So I was buzzing at all of these sales that I had made and all the promises that I had made to make further sales and I was talking to my coworkers about it and I mentioned to my boss that I was interested in making hats possibly for the company. So he said go for it. Do whatever you got to do and I'll pay you back. So of course we're gonna run that bill up baby. While I was running magnets on my X-Tool D1 Pro 20 watt laser, I was laser engraving patches for hats on my X-Tool D1 Pro 10 watt. I had them working simultaneously and it was the most beautiful thing that you would ever see in your life. I made 13 individual hats and I charged $22 per hat. I think that's a good price, probably pretty competitive with whoever's out there making hats, which is a total of $286 worth of hats. So if you're keeping up, we are at $777 total right now. Running both machines simultaneously is super easy. All you have to do is go over to your X-Tool program, 
click on your specific device, switch device, go to your Wi-Fi. I don't have the other device on right now, but both devices will come up. This is the one I'm in right now. The other one would be here. Click on it, switch over, and then I can start engraving stuff right then and there with that guy. So where did that last $160 come from? Because I was a little zealous and I made way more magnets and coasters and everything that I should have. After the dust settled, when I had gotten all of my magnets cleared on the first day, everything custom that the guy at the Comic-Con wanted on the second day, I had stuff left over. I had magnets that went unclaimed. I had coasters that nobody ever wanted. So I reached out to one more store locally. I said, hey, I have all of this stuff. I think it may meet your demographic. Can I bring it in, show it to you, and maybe offload it on you? And with this final deal on the last hour of the last day, I changed my magnet price because, like I said before, I felt like I was underselling myself. So instead of $2, I bumped it up to 3 bucks. It's not too big of a price, but it helps me out just a little bit and makes me feel a little bit better about what I'm doing. All it took was me walking in, shaking people's hands, and saying, hey, how can I be of service to you? How can we mutually benefit each other? And if you shoot me down and say, I don't ever want to see your face again, I can take that L. I can move on with my life. Luckily, that did not happen. I went in expecting to sell nothing and I sold almost everything. I sold coasters that I made and I even took the time to build a magnet wall because they're a retail store and I thought maybe I could upsell them and say, here, here's how you display this. I built a quick little magnet wall and sold it to them for 30 bucks. Easy way to amplify the amount of money I have and leave a perfect impression on them. Every single person that I featured in this video is 100% gonna be a repeat customer and that was what I was going for. Not a quick thousand bucks, but long-term sustainable relationships that will make me cash forever. If you've ever wondered if there is money in laser engraving, I have irrefutably proven to you the answer is yes. If you're gonna buy a desktop laser, you need to get the Xtool D1 Pro. There are a ton of lasers out there that you can sift through, but let me save you the trouble. This is the best for the price on the market. I have only just scratched the surface making keychains, coasters, and magnets. There are so many more things that these lasers can do. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next one.